Remember me, Ben? I'm the happy hamster. <laughs> I'm so happy to be back in your dreams. Now you can be with me again forever. Now we're going to dance just like I wanted to back in 88. I even wore my old Sergeant Pepper's costume. So what do you think? Now we're going to get all cozy and comfy, and I'm going to touch you in places you couldn't even imagine. Best of all, your parents can't save you now. So please, Benny boy, my little cupcake, don't try to run from me, because I'll be there at every turn. So let's get set for fun time. Torture, sodomy, French maid outfits, and I'll see you soon. <laughs> Welcome to the Oddity Archive, the show that will always be there for you at every turn. Today, it's our final episode. What? Of the season. You have to let me finish first. Oh well. While this is the final episode of the season, this will mark the first of what hopefully becomes a recurring thing around here. Today, we take our first ever trip into the VHS vaults. You ever seem to notice we seem to have a thing for alliteration around here? Oh. Anyway, these episodes will revolve around various video oddities from my personal collection. Now, today we don't look so much at a specific tape as we look at a company, namely the fly-by-night, usually public domain crap house, Aim vest video. Unfortunately, like many fly by nights, Aim vest video didn't leave much of a paper trail while in business, and it has even less of one since its closure. Here's more or less what I've been able to piece together. Around 1984, in that thriving metropolis of Rahway, New Jersey, alas, not easily accessible through Google Earth, Somebody decided that they wanted to cash in on the sudden renewed popularity of Alvin and the Chipmunks. More on that later. Anyway, the Chipmunk cash-in failed. Fast forward to 1986, or maybe 87, and the same party or parties from the Chipmunk thing decided to get into the now-thriving home video industry. Sometime in 1987, the newly christened Aimvest Video released its first titles, just poor quality public domain stuff on poor quality and often unmarked videotapes, usually with the record tabs still in the tape. Aimvest went under around 1990. In 1988, Aimvest decided to primarily focus on two series of tapes. One, a kids' division devoted primarily to cartoons, and the other, a series of old science fiction and horror movies hosted by Grandpa Munster himself, Al Lewis. Join Grandpa Junior Vampires of America Club, and I will make you a Junior Vampire. Hey kids, call 1-900-909-4300. That's 1-900-909-4300. With that, let's take a look at our first tape, Grandpa's Sci-Fi Hits. Now, notice it's not Grandpa, but Gram-Pa, and the name Munster is nowhere to be found, because Aimvest was evidently trying to avoid a lawsuit from Universal. I was pleasantly surprised by the artwork, I mean, it's never going to win any awards, but it is a cut above the usual work you see on these types of tapes. I also wanted to point out a discrepancy between the box and what's actually on the tape. This is a tape of movie trailers as hosted by Grandpa Lewis. 
but many of these trailers are not public domain, so they may have actually licensed a few of these. Maybe. Anyway, some of the titles listed on the back of the box aren't shown, most notably Friday the 13th Part 2. On the other side of the coin, trailers for films like The Rocky Horror Picture Show, the 1976 remake of King Kong, and that all-time classic Dr. Goldfoot and His Girl Bombs are included here. Okay, one last order of business before we finally look at the tape itself. Uh, Aimbus actually went to the trouble of labeling the tape this time. And they did so under protest, apparently. Um, let me show you what I mean. Yes, that alien really is flipping you off. That last word is missing an S at the beginning, isn't it? <laughs> and God said, let there be bad, incoherent segues. Me, Grandpa! <laughs> and do I have a show for you? We are gonna go on an adventure across time and space. As in a waste of time and space. Igor, will you beam me down already? Right now! Igor, Grandpa's imaginary friend. Remember, not Grandpa. Good work, Igor. Yeah. My little off-screen, non-copyright infringing sidekick. What do you mean, Grandpa? What do I mean, Grandpa? Don't you remember the time you, you left my heart in Alpha Centauri, you loony tune? Good place for it. <laughs> <laughs> Laughter is such a cleansing of the soul, usually. With you. <laughs> Back to our adventure. Well, I see he bought his spaceship at a PBS Kids garage sale. And head out to the outer limits of the universe. And once we get there, we are going to use my Electro Robox Combobulator. By Apple. Except waves of light that have been transmitted from Earth's past and future. In other words, he wants to create an alternate universe so he can run for governor of New York in another 10 years. Some exciting plan, eh, hey, Igor? I don't know, Grandpa. Oh, it's time to climb aboard the good ship lollipop, everybody. Bat or a mop? Oh, bat at it. Hey, a, a bat fire extinguisher? Really? When it comes to our safety, you always like to raise the stakes. Stakes? I told you once. I told you twice. Never ever use that word in my presence. As in Belmont stakes. Grandpa lost his shirt there last year. Go! Four, three. The SCTV Television Network is on the air. I wish. Lift off. We have lift off at 9:34 a.m. Eastern in Daylight Time. <laughs> oh, everything is so much funnier when you're on acid. Oh. Oh. Whew. G-forces, they really hit the spot. The G-spot? The edge of the universe. You know, it's just as I pictured it. Look! Igor! Igor! It's my friend, Flash! He hangs out in front of the elementary school. Don't, Grandpa! What do you mean, don't, Grandpa? It's my friend, Flash, you nutty bat, you... Joke no make sense. Now, Igor, your voice is back. Well, of course, my voice is back. Vons? I was able to break through the force field with my magnetic personality. That joke <laughs> does not compute. We had better re-enter the Earth's atmosphere and get home. Already, Grandpa? Well, thank you for being ready. <laughs> now, let's re-enter now. Get ready to start the breaking procedure, Igor. Break? What breaks, Grandpa? Why, the light that breaks through yonder window, of course. Bring the brakes! I don't understand why I use you as a copilot. <laughs> ah, yes, that inevitable crash from those cheap drugs you took. Boy, that was one of the biggest crash landings since the crash of 29. 
Too bad you missed it. But you know our budget. You really took a lot out of me. I guess I am gonna take a nap. Me too. Upside down. Give him the chair. Give him the chair. You too. <laughs> you forgot the brakes. You go and repair the ship. Cause we, me and my friends, want to go on another adventure real soon. <laughs> now get to work, bozo. But not Larry Harmon's bozo, cause that would be copyright infringement. <sighs> And another lovely image for you to think about while falling asleep tonight, from your friends at the Oddity Archive. I'm picking up good vibrations. Paint box, more like crayon box. Oh, please, you did not have a production assistant. And you probably didn't have a copyright either. Now, for anyone that's ever seen more than one episode of this show, you know that I've seen some pretty bent stuff in my day, and I'm sure will continue to. Uh, having said that, I'd like to now discuss what is probably the most personal thing that I've ever talked about here on the Archive. In fact, this is the absolute root of the Archive when you think about it. Uh, I, I didn't come from a particularly poor family, but I certainly didn't come from a wealthy one either. Now, uh, my parents would buy me the odd videotape when I was little, and uh, unlike a lot of kids, it wouldn't be a tape or anything good most of the time, but uh, God bless them, they'd pick up that $2.99 piece of crap at Woolworths or something, and they'd bring it home to me. Needless to say, I watched a lot of really bad public domain cartoons growing up. Now, this brings us back around to AIMVEST Video and their Kid Picks division. Now, like the Grandpa Munster series, the Kid Picks division had its own host as well, and this host scared the living hell out of me at three or four years old. And uh, with that, I'd like to, at the very least, confront, if not outright exercise, this little nagging childhood demon of mine. And I'm dragging you down with me. Like I said earlier, Aimvest Video is the apparent offshoot of a failed cash-in on the renewed popularity of Alvin and the Chipmunks. In 1984, a record album was released called The Happy Chipmunks Sing Michael Jackson, featuring chipmunk-style covers of various Michael Jackson tunes. Unsurprisingly, almost immediately after release, Ross Bagdasarian Jr., owner of the Chipmunks' name, issued a cease and desist order. The record was then quickly renamed The Happy Hamsters Sing Michael Jackson. Now, take a good look at quote-unquote Michael. He's gonna come back into play soon. Anyway, shortly thereafter, another record, alas, minus Michael, was released called The Happy Hamsters Go Ghostbustin', on which the gang repeatedly reminds you that they are indeed hamsters, not chipmunks. Well, it's a good thing that doctors have classified us. Now I must check your calories to make sure you are the happy hamsters and not the happy chipmunks or some other imposters. Where do you think I am, a chipmunk? Absolutely not. You are a hamster. The court says so. In Rahway, New Jersey, in the district court action, titled... Okay, that's clear. I'm a hamster. Now, don't ask me how or why I have it, but uh, here's my copy of The Happy Hamsters Sing Michael Jackson, uh, alas, missing the poster that originally came with it. Uh, as you'd expect, it's a little disturbing at times. Uh, the vinyl itself is sounds to make you shiver level cheap, and the vinyl mastering job is uneven at best. But unlike the subsequent Kid Picks video series, it's really not too terrible, all things considered. Uh, I guess I ought to play you a couple samples, huh?
Unsurprisingly, when I was eight or nine years old, the Kid Picks tapes that I had went into the garage sale pile. Uh, but however, recently I've come across a couple of these tapes just at thrift stores and stuff, and I thought I'd share a couple of them with you. Now, uh, this first one is for Flip the Frog, and as you can probably tell by the artwork, an accurate depiction of the cartoons within just wasn't in the cards. Uh, and if you're curious, Flip the Frog is a rather obscure post d ub iWorks creation. And as you can also tell, several people before me have tried to get rid of this tape. Now, uh, this other tape is uh, a little nicer in terms of artwork. This is a collection of those 1940s follow the bouncing ball sing along cartoons. Um, but anyway, as you can probably tell, we are not dealing with particularly great cartoons here. Oh well. I guess I put it off as long as I can. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I now bring you the true terror of my childhood. Okay, you little rodent bastard, where are you? Hi, kids! I'm the happy hamster! <laughs> I'm so happy to be joining you so that we can be together watching one of my favorite Kid Picks videos. Especially the ones filmed in my bedroom! Got all dressed up. So, how do you like my duds? Great, huh? Now let's get all cozy and comfy and get ready to watch... You really thought I was joking earlier, kids. didn't you? Best of all, we're here together, right? And before the fun starts, when the program is over, don't touch that dial. Cause I've got even more mental scarring to inflict on you. So let's get set for fun time. Lights, action. Reverse bestiality. And I'll see you later. <laughs> you can bank on that one. The happy hamster's gonna be a watching you. Yes, you are gonna die. Screw the cartoons. Even the tape wants nothing to do with this. Here I am again. <laughs> I hope you had great fun watching your favorite cartoon friends on this video. Well, I've come here to make a very special announcement. <laughs> attention, attention, a proclamation. I, the Happy Hamster, <laughs> am president of a new club! I think you can fill in the blanks on that one, folks. And I'm inviting you to join me as official members. There are some very exciting times ahead for us, and we want you to be a part of it. We've got some great things for you as bonuses for joining. Starting out with this beautiful t-shirt with my picture on it. It will tell and show all of your friends that, that I got boinked by a mutant hamster and all I got was this lousy t-shirt! Newsletter, so you can be kept up to date with the newest releases and comings and goings. Comings? He writes about... you. Kid Picks Happy Hamster Club. Oh, I just love the sound of it, don't you? <laughs> and hey, that's not all! How about a beautiful, full-colored poster? Because we couldn't sell all the records before LPs disappeared. Joining is just $10 plus $3 for mailing and handling. Hamster handling. Or, okay, okay, I'm just a sucker. You got Wait, did he just say he wants to suck her? <sighs> Hamsters don't have lips, do they? A $9.95 value. It's the best of kid picks and features Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Porky Pig, Tweety Pie? Hi, Tweety! Only the happy hamster could make Tweety Bird look psycho. Mighty Mouse! Donald Duck? And one of my favorites, Woody Woodpecker! Emphasis on Pecker! Great fun that I'm sure you'll be watching over and over again! Because once you've gone rodent, you never go back! When you join, you will receive the Kid Picks newsletter, a full-colored Kid Picks poster, the beautiful Kid Picks t-shirt, and last but not least, the one hour Kid Picks video. The cost again is $10 plus $3 for postage and handling. What a racket. And that's all I've got to say about that. The Kid Picks Club, 937 East Hazelwood Avenue, Rahway, New Jersey, 07065. And please enclose a picture of yourself. And a lock of your hair and some toenail clippings. A bit about what you like and dislike and whatever else you might like to write about. 
It's very possible that we might hunt you down with your return address. Letters. Oh, I can't wait to hear from you. I bet. And again, I just want to say welcome to the Kid Picks Happy Hamster Club. <laughs> well, gang, now you know what's been eating at me for all these years. Nice touch. And that's it for today's archive. Join us next time when I'm asked by several animal rights groups, why didn't you just let that cute furry little hamster do his thing? I mean, what did he ever do to you? God, you cold, heartless little bastard. What's wrong with you? Love to watch TV. The only problem was who was in the TV. Who was in the TV besides the newsman? Shut up, silly hamster, and listen to the story. Okay. So Carol Ann watched the possessed TV, and a bad demon began to work on her. The same demon began moving chairs around the house. <laughs> <laughs>